Hello, and welcome to Pi, Projects, Ideas, and Experiments. In today's video, uh, more seeds. Uh, I'm actually going to show you how I uh, store my seeds. Most people probably aren't going to like it, but again, that's the way that I do it. Um, I find it useful. Um, now, normally I use a small jar, like a mason jar, you know, something that's size of a peanut butter jar. Glass, not plastic. Don't use plastic. Um, but I kind of have a lot of seeds. And they weren't going to fit. So I decided to get a bigger jar. So normally, this is my seed jar. As you can tell, it's empty. But, um. It's a pickle jar. And it's good. I've had it anywhere from, you know, half filled to fully filled to a little overflowing. Um, it's better to have more seeds than not enough. This is going to be my new seed jar. Old seed jar? New seed jar. Yeah, there's going to be a bit more room. Now... The big jar is probably going to be primarily just bulk seed storage. And then for planting, I'll still use the small one. Um, in case you're wondering. Well, I guess it would help if I got, got the label a little better. But it's also a pickle jar. I didn't plant it that way. This is kind of the way it happened. Uh, but you want to make sure a jar has a wide enough opening. <clears throat> And, um, so it's easier to pour seeds out and everything. Um, but yeah, basically we're just going to fill up this giant jar with seeds. Now for my seed collection. Um, I tend to go a little overboard on seeds. And, uh, yeah, so there's quite a bit here. So, uh... Bear with me as I go through the process of showing you all the seeds I have. This does not include uh, my uh, giant sequoia seeds. Um, probably best not to have those growing in containers, even though it would be kind of cool. Um, but today it's just annuals, perennials, flowering, vining type things. Alright, let's get to showing all the seeds. Seeds. Okay, let's start with nondescript seeds first. These are some seeds I salvaged from or collected from um, one of my milkweed plants. I then have two little apple seeds. Um, I just saved some seeds from an apple. I know they aren't going to turn out the same, but uh. Neither one of these are probably going to go in this mix. These are just the seeds that I've collected and put in little baggies. Any seeds that I have here um, that I bought online or if I can do a link or anything, obviously will be in the description. Um, but buy the seeds you like. If you like the way it looks, you like the way it smells, you know... Maybe you like that it doesn't gr grow very fast, or that it grows extremely fast, or that it vines, or that it stays short, or that it grows really tall. Buy what you like. And try to grow it. But just remember, just because you like a certain plant, doesn't mean it's going to grow for you. Some people can't grow plants. Some people can't stop from growing plants. Um, but uh, buy the seeds you like. All right, so the first one we have here is, these are Morning Glories. Uh, Grandpa Oct, Oat, something. Anyway, uh, obviously, the company is called Eden Brothers. Uh, uh, technically, I guess you can scan that for a planting guide. You already got the information now. Uh, again, I believe I bought these on Amazon. I'll put a link. If I can find one, uh, I can't remember. 
most of the most mo, most of these seeds were bought for, in early to mid 2023, and they've been sitting here waiting for me to do this. All right, here's a nice mix of seeds, so it's going to have all different seeds in it, called the Monarch Rescue Mix. Uh, be kind of cool if you can get it, caterpillars and everything growing. Uh, let's see, packed for 2023. Pretty much everything is packed for 2023. Uh, uh, I think the description on all the seeds that are in there, in the, you know, actual posting, so, um, I don't really remember what's in here, but, uh, it's a nice big bag of seeds. And, uh, yeah. Alright, so here I have a monarch sanctuary garden, butterfly garden, whatever. Uh, these bigger packs like this were bought in a store. Uh, but again, it's just a mix of seeds. I think it actually has, feels like actual packets inside. Uh, yeah, got those. A bird and butterfly garden. And because I'm in Texas, you got to try to grow some blue bonnets. Another plant I've never really had great luck with growing. Um, but it is uh, one I would like, love to get growing more. So, but a nice big pack of those. Now, I've got a whole bunch of individual seed packets. Uh, I've got some duplicates and whatnot. Uh, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to talk about each one. I'm just going to take every single packet out of here, place it to show y'all, and, uh... <laughs> oh, look! Butterfly weed! So, like I said, I got a lot of seats. Um, I'm just going to take the entire group of seeds, every single pack and package, and I'm going to dump it in the large jar. Large jar. Make sure you clean these out. Anytime you're reusing a container, Reusing a container. Clean it out. Um, obviously, if it's been freshly whatever was in here, uh, clean it out a bit more thoroughly. Um, I'd already cleaned this, and uh, it had just been sitting for a little while, so I just wiped it out with a very, very, very lightly damp paper towel, and then dried it thoroughly. Um, also, clean it out in between each batch of seeds so even if you're using a batch for two years or something when you're done with it clean it out before you put in new seeds just helps a little bit or so i say or think whatever That was just like dust. Well, those probably won't be growing.
Okay, so now I'm on to the, uh, these large packs. And like I said, it feels like there's just individual packets inside. It kind of defeats the purpose, but I guess it's just because it's like a bundle. Yeah, they're just little individual packets. All right, inside the big packet of that one. This pack, since it's all the same, is well, it's just seeds inside. But still, the whole pack is. only that much seed. The rest, not, not this part, just this little part up here. That's all the seed, and even it's not even that much. Here's another multi pack. Now for the big bulk seeds. Alright, so that's all the seeds. I'll be honest, I thought there was more. Um, jar barely has anything in it. Um, I may actually just end up putting it in a small jar and then setting this aside for a future day or something. Um, so that kind of sucks. But anyway, another good reason to have it in a large jar like this, or to have enough room in a jar, is uh, so you can mix it around. Which is what we're going to do now. After I try to put it in a small jar. See if it works or not. And then uh, regret my decision or not. And uh, yeah. Do this very carefully. Can't really see, I know, but... You know what? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna try that because I'm gonna make a big old mess. So I'm just gonna leave it in a large jar. Now, another thing you can do, uh, which I know goes against something I pretty much just devised, is uh, as you get seeds throughout the year and continually, just add seeds. Just keep your jar. When you find seeds you like, buy them, toss them in, mix it up, and just keep going. Um, then you always have a ever-changing mix and variety and ages and, and just remember, e even if you put seeds out and they don't grow, something's going to eat them, whether it's birds or insects or m worms or you know, whatever. So it's not like they're going to waste. Uh, it seems a little wasteful spending all that money on all those seeds. And not seeing the fruits of your labor, flowers, shrubs, vines, whatever. Um, but it is what it is. Um, like I said, I like overseeding. Um, what most people would probably seed their entire front yard with, I put in one container. Um, if it grows, it grows. If it don't, it don't. Again, it's the way I do it. You choose to do it how you want to do it. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, now that they're all in the container, <coughs> put the lid on, and kind of just mix it up. That way, when you go to pour them out, you're not just getting one type of, of plant, one type of seed coming out. My recommendation is, uh, Mix it up, you know, before you go sprinkle your seeds out, uh, just every time. And if you put more seeds in, mix it up. Now, obviously, using a bigger container, it's going to be a bit more difficult uh, you know, spreading the seeds out. There's one reason. I like a smaller jar. If you use a smaller jar, which I should have done, but I really thought it was going to be more, it may have fit, but... Uh, you just take it and just sprinkle it out over a container. You know, maybe uh, one container didn't quite 
do right or you know you're starting a new container whatever and you just sprinkle it out over it anyway that's seed dryer that's how that's how i store my seeds i just like mixing all my seeds together a lot of people are going to be like well how do you know what's growing i don't that's the excitement of plants whether you know, it's going to be a flower, a shrub, a tree, a vine. Who knows? I've got plants on my balcony right now. I don't know what are. But I wonder, what are they? Are they going to grow? Are they going to continue? I don't know. Now, yes, if you're trying to be more, like, a scientific and accurate and you only want to make sure only these plants are growing, then, yeah, only use one type of seed at a time, keep them separated, labeled, yada, 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 yada. And uh, you can do it that way. I like the chaos method. Mix them all together, toss them on the ground, and survival of the fittest. There we go. Give you one quick other little look at the seed jar. See, it just does not have very much in it. But that's a nice... Nice chunk of, nice chunk of seeds. Imagine if that was full. Woo! Just grab you some seeds. Get to planting. Thank you for watching Pi. Projects, ideas, and experiments. Be smart. Stay safe. Have fun. Okay, bye.